all right folks what is going on this is episode 717 of the first and frame rate show i am vf baller well, when we talk about georgia southern and atlanta falcons football we're going to jump to the falcons today we're going to talk about some injuries because the falcons they had a good bit of injuries this past game against the jets but i don't think it's anything significant especially you know when i saw the whole situation with nate landman he was still on the sideline list it's questionable after going out with his knee injury so I don't think it's going to be anything significant. And um, hopefully most of these guys, of all, if not all of these guys, will be back at least by the end of the season. Because I, I don't know how far along these injuries are, but I think that is going to be really uh, interesting. And, and it's going to be actually really needed for us to have these guys because some of these guys are pretty important. But you had a couple of veterans that stepped up and played pretty well. So all is not lost so we'll talk about those two veterans if you're looking at the screen on youtube or rumble you see who i'm talking about but it's it's going to be good to see the next man up so let's talk about it if this is your first time here welcome i could be found on youtube and rumble i am also on anchor spotify apple and google podcast if you want to check out the show on the website is first and i'm also can be found on twitter or x at vf baller and uh if you want to uh help donate or support the show uh the cash app and paypal links are below all right let, let's just go ahead and get into this because it's it's kind of you know injuries are a part of the game you know it, it happens and you know when when i saw with aj terrell going down with the concussion pro he's under concussion protocol jeff okuda with his ankle uh you know, I was kind of worried because, you know, the rest of the season, we're going to need these guys. I mean, we're going to need pretty much everybody, all hands on deck. But we're really going to need our cornerbacks because we are uh, in a league that's more passing than anything. And people are going to try to pass the ball wherever we go, wherever, whoever we play against. I mean, we're going up against the Buccaneers this week. You already know they're going to try to throw the ball to Mike Evans. We can use everybody that we can in the secondary. But the good thing about that is, AJ Terrell and Jeff Okuda were limited in their game in in um, practice today. So that's really good, uh, especially with the concussion thing. You don't really want to play with the concussion protocol situation. You know, you really want to be, uh, you know, really wary and very cautious with that. And Jeff Okuda with his ankle, we know how that will happen with his ankle. You know, his ankle was an issue before. I don't know if, if it's the same foot or ankle, but he came back and he's been playing very well. For the most part this season, you know, I mean, one thing that I could say, our secondary has been really good. Yeah, Terrell, Okuda, Bates, you know, even with um, Richie Grant and um, Helms, they're all, they stepped up big time. Even, you know, even Clark Phillips have played a really good game. So even if one of these guys are out, I think we're going to be okay with, you know, Helms and Phillips stepping up. So it, it, it's, it's not the end of the world there. Now, but when you look at the offensive line, it's almost a different story because, you know, you got Dalman and Caleb McGarry, they were held out of practice. And Dalman, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, Dalman is so so sometimes, you know, I mean, I think he, you know, I can't remember, but I'm almost certain he's our center because you got uh, you know, you got Bergeron and you got Lindstrom on the on the, on the interior. So Dalman is our center. We we're gonna need him, hopefully. He will be able to go. Caleb McGarry, not so much. Even if he's not able to go, Storm Norton, number 77, will step in. Now, that is a guy, I'm going to be quite honest, he, he could possibly be a starter in this league or he can be started for the Falcons because he's been playing very well this season. He stepped up big time against the Texans, and uh, it just seems like he was a really good fit for that right uh, right tackle side. So, um, look, if McGarry's out, I'm not too worried. I know he does play well at times next to Lindstrom, but um, listen, if, if Storm Norton got to go, I'm okay with it. Storm Norton has been playing very well. Now, when you look at the linebacker situation, Nate Landman, um, I love the way he's been playing this season with Troy Anderson out. And when he going down, I was extremely worried because we lost one, one linebacker. Then Nate Landman comes in and plays very well. And now he's down, but, um aj smith i mean there's I'm not, his name aj smith oh god i don't forgot his name that quick uh please forgive me um smith stepped in to play and he's been very he, he stepped up in the jazz game he played really good so for him to step in and play it really helped out big time and uh with him uh was able to come through 
and actually make a difference. And, and, you know, in a lot of things that the Jets were trying to do, it really helped. So I'm not really worried about that too much either. Um, but it's, it's just a situation where you would want, you know, you, you would want him to come in and play. You know, especially uh, the, the type of season he's been having so small so far, it is something that you um, you know, it, it's just a, it's just a guy that you want to be in there. You know, so that's a guy that uh, we're going to miss if he's not going to be able to play. It, it, but I think with Smith coming in, is is really going to be a big deal. You know, uh, is, is it can he step up and play against the Buccaneers' a divisional game and they're a little bit more physical than the Jets were as far as offense versus defense. And uh, it's just going to be a, a, a big matchup for him just to see if he can come in and, and, and play for the team. I, I think he's going to be fine. You know, I, I think he's going to be okay. There's just no big, no, no issue with that. It's just that you will want your guy to come in. I mean, uh, oh, goodness, I don't forgot his name again. <laughs> You know, you just want him to come in and, and play because, you know, just for the simple fact that uh, you want all your players. You don't want any of your players to just out and about and just not able to uh, perform. Andre Smith. Goodness, I, I, I'm i almost all over the place. And, and I'm sorry. That's what I was looking for. Looking for his name throughout this entire, uh, you know, this time I was just rambling. Got yeah, Andre Smith here is going to be playing. I, I'll say to AJ, but I mean, it's Andre Smith Jr. So it could be AJ, right? But nevertheless, uh, with Landman out, you know, Andre Smith is going to come in to step in. And I think he's going to be able to, you know, do what he has to do. So these two guys are stepping up. That's going to be pretty cool as far as uh, Norton and Smith. Now, uh, last but not least, you have Mike Holland is still out with the ankle. Hopefully he was he'll be able to come back. Mike Hughes, his hand has an issue. Um, defensive lineman Lakel London, they they were all uh, full participants. Um, that's really good because it's good if you want Hollins in there. It's going to be another weapon that we really could use against the Buccaneers secondary. Mike Hughes with him being a full participant, if uh, that's going to be help if uh, uh, if AJ Terrell or Jeff Okuda is out. You know, like I said, all hands on deck. That's going to be um, really good as well. Uh, Clias Campbell and Cordell Patterson, there was non-injury rest days. You know, it was non-injury rest day for them. So that's not really, you know, a big deal. Those guys are going to come and probably help and um, get another win, make it three in a row. But I, just the thing about it is Clias Campbell, I think he was, I don't know if, I can't remember if it was this game or the last game. One of them games, I think he was hurt for a little bit as well. But, you know, I think he's going to be fine. Cordell Patterson is very limited. I think, you know, these guys are the two, you know, veterans on the team for the most part. They're probably the most tenured guys that have been in the NFL on the team. So they're going to get their, you know, their days off. I think Wednesday, usually the Wednesday, the Wednesday is usually the day that they get off. So um, outside of that, th these guys, you know, Norton and Smith, you know, I they're, they're going to be very uh, important to what we do here. For the until these guys come back, even if they're not out. I mean, Landman, you know, he was already carrying the load with Troy Anderson out. Then, you know, uh, you still have uh, uh, Kayla McGarry possibly going to be out and Norton's coming in. So these two are probably like the most, uh, they're, they're probably like the most important that are that are out. Um, the only reason why I say that because Okuda and um, AJ Terrell was limited in practice. So that's a good thing. You know, that's going to be the way that sounds like it seems like it's going to be more of a game time decision. I'd rather have at least one. If both are out, that's going to be that's going to be really that's not going to be cool. Um, David Ademaya, um, Ayamaya, Ademaya, Ayamaya is um, he was out of practice with an ankle injury as well. Not too worried about that. The defensive line has been playing fairly well without him. Don't get me wrong. I would love if he's on the field, but the defensive line has been playing OK without him. So it's not. You know, keep him rested if the defensive line does continue to move like they're moving. Because Bud Dupree, you know, you also have, um, you know, uh, Ebikete. You know, these guys are getting, even Kate Nellis, those guys are getting that, the quarterback, getting some type of pressure. The run game is not going for no teams for the past couple of games. So that that's that's a good, that's a pretty good uh, indication that uh, Ayamaya could sit out for a while if needed. I mean, I would love to have him, but 
no reason to rush if everything well I say everything but if most things are clicking on that uh on that defensive line so that's pretty much it man um i'm just worried about the offensive line and this linebacker situation because the offensive line makes a run game go and we need a linebacker that's going to continue to uh um, be there to, to to be that uh i ain't gonna say necessarily field general but you're gonna need a guy that can carry that space in the middle of the field and get after the run game get uh um, play a little bit of coverage or i you know actually make some really good tackles when needed so th those are those are the two important for me everybody else that i mentioned you know i'll hopefully they'll be back as soon as possible luckily none of these injuries seem like they're like season injury or long-term injuries so that bodes well with five games left. If these guys got to miss a game or two, with even with the level of competition we have, we should be okay, you know, because I think these guys are playing in good positions in good times of the season where we're playing at home and, like, literally our biggest threat um, that to the, you know, to the rest of the schedule are really the non-conference games. I mean, we're looking really good in conference, not conference, in divisional games because the division games look pretty good right now now i'm not saying that we're just going to win them but they're we're they're pretty much in our favor i mean i don't see the panthers being a threat the buccaneers we already beat them so hopefully we can make that two in a row and the saints their their, their quarterback situation is falling apart so you just don't know with the Colts and the bears you just don't know yet so uh hopefully you know by the time we have to play one of those two teams Pretty much most of the guys that are on the injury report will be uh, ready to go. That's on this injury report, be ready to go. Like Terrell Okuda, you know, even, you know, Dalman, you know, um, hell, even Landman, you know, once they come back, that will be awesome. So if you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Um, are the injuries a big deal to you? You think it's something that we need to really worry about? Or we just need to take it easy and just put our players out there and get them in the best position to win. I think that we're okay. I really want to see at least one of our cornerbacks come back. Um, if Storm Norton has a play, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm a little worried if um, Andre Smith has a play. I think he'll. I think he'll answer the call. He'll be. He'll be fine. So that should be okay. Um, but uh, for the most part, I'm just really just. I'm. I'm really worried about the Dalman situation in really one of the cornerbacks you know because I, I think storm north could hold their own dolman the offensive line we need that on point and you know even though we get one of the guys back if neither you know it would it would be terrible if neither one can play as far as terrell and okuda but we get one of them back and i think that'll be just enough for us to compete at a high level you know because like i said you know we got a couple of guys that have came in in the secondary has been playing very well so I can be found on YouTube and Rumble, also Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. Uh, if you want to uh, follow me on X at VF Baller, that'd be awesome. The website is firstandframerates.com. And if you want to support the show, PayPal and uh, Cash App links are below. I'm going to get up out of here and um, enjoy the Wednesday. It's almost a weekend once again. It is moving really fast. It really is. But yeah, we're going to uh, talk some more stuff uh then on thursday hope you guys will hang around all right y'all i'm out of here and uh y'all take it easy and uh y'all be blessed peace